This is Fat March 21, paper 4 2. Question 6. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this video and you are about to sit for your exam but you have not tried the question yet, go click the link below, download paper and try before you start again. And then come back and watch the video because the paper is meant for you to see whether you are exam ready or not. Okay, come back again. The video is going to be here. So this question is an electric field question. So whenever I see this kind of graph, I'm very happy because why it is not two point charges. When it's not two point charges, it is immediately easy if you know your electric field. Okay, so 6a, state a similarity and a difference Okay, between gravitational field around a point mass and electric field around a point charge. Uh, they just want similarity, oh, no difference. Oh. Yes, okay. So uh, the immediate one that I could think about is both fields are radial. So maybe you have a mass like this and you draw gravitational field line this way, ma, correct? So radial means it acts along the radius. You would also draw field lines that look like this, let's say for positive charge. So you may draw your positive charge that way. It's still radial because it's moving about the radius of the sphere. It's like a durian, you know. But durian is not that uniform. Like. Everything is poking out in all directions. 3D. So both fields are radial. Good enough. Move on. Are there other similarities? Sure, I can write another one. Both fields obey the inverse square law. Relationship with respect to distance from the point mass or point charge i.e g is inversely proportional r square and electric field is inversely proportional r square enough at all they just want one the easiest one to write is the first one they are radial i think both also okay okay differences would be one is only attractive and one is can be attractive or repulsive Okay, if you want to know more, can check out the comparison video. So here we have uh, electric field strength due to an isolated charge sphere. So this is a sphere in the vacuum as shown in figure 6.1. Oh, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. State the radius of the sphere. Well, my friends, uh, whenever we think about a sphere, okay, or a charge sphere like so, According to our friend Gauss, although Gauss is not in your syllabus, but the Gaussian principle or the logic principle or the enemy principle is charges, they don't like each other, especially if the polarity is the same. So if I put one positive charge here, the other positive charge will be in the opposite place of the sphere. So it's like everyone wants to be far away from each other. It's like social distancing, but for charges. So the place where a charge can be the furthest away from each other is along the curved surface. Not in the center, but outside. So this means that if let's say I have a random electron appear here, this electron will be pulled in all direction, causing its net force to be zero. That's why inside here, the electric field strength E is zero. Commonly asked question also includes explaining why this is zero. So the short form version will be the charge inside of the sphere doesn't, doesn't move. And because the charge inside the sphere doesn't move, this means that the electric field strength is zero. Net force is zero. Okay? So that's why this one can actually tell you the radius of the sphere, which is this 2.1. Your sphere will be here. So close, yet so far, like this. Nah, the sphere is going to be here. Okay, and we are drawing the electric field from here outwards. Okay, so radius is 2.1, one mark. 
you get the mark, you get the mark. <laughs> it's just one mark. Right, next. Calculate the charge on the sphere. Okay, there are a few ways to do it. I prefer to just take the surface because, well, the graph is big and beautiful. So I know this one is the value on the surface. Okay, I bring this one up. Let me bring this up here. Like so. Okay, so this is your sphere. So this is at the surface of your sphere. Okay, so at the surface of your sphere, your electric field strength is 1.3 times 10 to the power of 5. Common mistakes will be to forget a prefix that is hiding in the axis. I think I've mentioned in previous question, we'll continue to mention until the cows come home. In case we forget, we all need a bit of reminding, right? So we start with the electric field strength equation. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Knowing the four pillars are important, and if you don't know them and you cannot recall the equation, it is a sadness. Go watch video. All right. So Q, we're trying to find Q. Mm, I, will, I will always say at the surface, E is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the power of 5 volt per meter. Na, na, na. 1.3. Okay. So I can substitute already. I want to find charge. So I'll just bring out and multiply, okay? Q will be equal to 4 pi. Epsilon naught can find in table of constant times 10 to the power of negative 12, I believe. Let me double check. Yes. Uh, R square radius is 2.1 cm, negative 2 square. Okay, and then multiply by E. 1.3 times 10 to the power of 5. Show all your substitution. You can immediately press your calculator. Again, many exponents. Please learn to use the E button. If not, it's just painful. <laughs> so I'll get 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 7 coulomb. I am guessing if you use this equation and you substitute the E value at a correct radius. So a correct E, correct substitution of r comma e because all the points on this curve let's say you don't like 1.3 uh, 13 i don't like this number not good okay fine find your favorite number it doesn't matter you can take 0 0.9 and 2.5 try to take the corner plots uh, okay don't take some weird plot you can take 6 cm and 1 point what is this 1.6 so any coordinate along the curve that you can read clearly like 4 and 3 points 0 0.36 is good enough any coordinate i just take the surface because that one is very obvious ma. okay so part c using the formula for electric potential due to an isolated point charge determine the capacitance of the sphere in b Ooh, capacitance long time no c q c is equal to the ratio of q over v all right, so they say use the formula for electric potential due to an... Okay, I'm just... I need to use this. What I need to use, I'm a right. V is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. Good news! They give you this equation. And this is the only equation about electric field, the four pillars that they give you in your table. Okay, so let me zoom out. And show you. Nah, here they give. They only give this. They don't give you Coulomb's law equation. They don't give you potential energy. They don't give you anything else. Just give you one corner of the four pillar. You are supposed to build your own house. So build up the four physical quantities and make sure you know them. This four. How are they related? Potential gradient, uh, differentiate, uh, force per unit, charge, uh, all those things. Okay, so now you are asked to determine the capacitance. So basically find C. La. I'm going to substitute. Okay, C is equal to Q over V. V would be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. I can cancel the Q, go away. So C is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught R. Substitute, la. 4 pi 8.85 times 10 to the power of negative 12. R. What is R? Where is R? Oh, 2.1. Okay. 2.1 times 10 to the power of 
negative 2. Okay, this is because the sphere can only store charge within its radius. You cannot U -tuan -tuan store one charge here. Ma. Even if there's a charge here, it is not charge stored. It is charge placed there. It's not part of the capacitance. Okay, so we will take the potential of the surface. So whenever you want to find capacitance of a sphere, or this one is charge stored in the sphere, in the sphere. Okay, hang on, let me write. C of sphere will be equal to charge stored on surface divided by potential difference on surface. Okay, that's why this R is the radius of the sphere. Okay, uh, so anyway, we'll put this in and then I will get the answer of 2.34 times 10 to the power negative 12 coulomb. Where is our marks, you ask? Okay, I think you write this, you write this and you substitute inside, you get C1. You have to show this step. Because they say use formula for electric potential. If you never use, you memorize this formula, I don't know whether you got marked or not. Because uh. they explicitly tell you to do and you didn't do. It's one thing to not do what people didn't say, but it's another thing when people say, please you do and you never do. See, see, see. Okay, I don't know. All right, one more mark is for substitution, C1. And then the mark here is A1, answer. Do not memorize this equation, learn this proof. This proof got asked a few times before. This is electric field. This is not that hard because it's just one point in charge. There are a lot of things to be tested in electric field, like electric potential energy, when we move a charge in between two sphere, what is the work done? What is the forces between the charge? Check out more complicated examples. But this is a good start, a good level one or level two, 1 1.5 question. All right, so that's it for question six from Fat March 2.1. So after watching the recording again, I noticed that I made a mistake, which was also pointed out in the chat. So I double check. Okay, thank you for those of you who pointed this out in the chat, in the comments, who joined the live recording. This square, I didn't press in the calculator, so it's gone. Not sure why I did that. So I press again. This is now 6.3758. Or I guess I can put this as 6.38 times 10 to the power of negative 9 Coulomb. So this is wrong. This will be 6.4 times 10 to the power of negative 9 Coulomb. Okay, good catch for those of you who press the calculator along with me. That's it for this question. Just a brief correction for that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.